this thing, this rat, these rats that are now in the walls, that are scurrying about, that are trying to get to me, that are trying to kill me, to consume me. They are him. He is the rat. How, I do not know. Some kind of evil incanta incantation from some evil long dead book, some kind of power that his family has had. I cannot explain it, but it is him. And I tell you how I know, for I have heard the rats. I have heard the rats speaking, speaking in the language that I do speak, and the voice that they speak with. The voice that they speak with is his, his voice, as if he was in the room with me. And at first that's what I thought it was, as if I'd left the telephone on the line and he was speaking, and yet I found that there was no one in the room. I checked every single, every single corner, every single nook and cranny, but there was no one there. There was no phone, there was no tape recorder, there was nothing. And then, as I put my ear to the wall, I heard the rat scurrying. And then I heard the voice again, louder than before. And as I moved my ear down to where the rat was scratching, there the voice was loudest of all. And no man could fit in the gaps between the walls. He is the rat. Somehow, through dreams, I have imagined how he has done it. What great powers he has. Maybe over the years that he has been consumed by the things that I said to him as a child, in jest, in ignorance, and yet he took to heart. And he has somehow formed these powers out of this great desire to wreak revenge upon me. Somehow, in those dreams, maybe he has spoken to me while I lie asleep through the walls, so that I might understand his fear. For what is better to have powers to have a secret if you cannot explain them? What is the purpose of killing a man, of getting revenge if he doesn't know that you have suffered such fear beforehand? And that is why I think that he tells me these things in my sleep so that I dream them and have no understanding of how I get them. And so he drives me even more mad and fearful of what? What lies in the walls, in the floors, in the darkness that is going to consume me. In these dreams, I see, I see him, I see his power, I see it as if I was there. I see a part of his heart beating inside his chest, separate, and out come from his mouth. And that part of the heart, it takes form and there upon his chest it turns into the rat. And like any rat it looks, and yet it turns and speaks to him as he explains the instructions of what to do. And then I see this rat scurry from his chest down his leg, onto the floorboards and down a hole, down a pipe, down a street, rain, through people's feet as it scurries through bags and boxes and cars, through headlights, until it gets to the outside of my domain, my house, and there it sniffs around, it looks studiously like a man would look, not like a rat, and it goes around until it finds the perfect entrance, a small little hole, a little crack, and inside it is, and now it is trapped, trapped in the floorboards, trapped in the roof the ceiling, the walls, and it multiplies, as it multiplied out from his heart, and quite apt, isn't it, that a man's heart that keeps all his desires and all his pain and all his suffering and tragedy should become the very wreaker of his revenge against me. For it was I who hurt his heart that enabled him to gain such power so that his heart could take physical revenge upon me in his name. And it will. It will. It will consume me. For what is the choice I have? Running? But how do I run from something like this? 
They can track me down. They can get into all the small gaps that I can't block. They can multiply itself. Oh, 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 maybe I'm mad and I've just imagined this on some dark night. Yet who am I trying to convince? But deep down I know. I know that these rats, <laughs> these rats are coming for me. And they will find a way out. And one night, I will be lying asleep, dreaming away of beautiful things. And the rat shall finally emerge through the hole that it is tirelessly made. And not one rat will come through, but two, three, four, five, six. Whole oh, horde of them until it's impossible to count. And they will scurry, as rats do scurry, in their own filth. And they will sniff, and talk to each other, and plan, and whisper. And then they will see where I am lying in my bed. And they will climb up the blanket, and underneath the blanket, and every single rat shall put its rat-like claws on my skin as it sleeps so peacefully, unaware of what is occurring, unable to stop what is occurring before it's too late. And then the rats, with their sharp nails and their bony teeth, will all, in synchronicity, all at the same time, or scratch and gnaw their way through my easy-to-eat flesh and through my bones and I will wake up screaming and I will try with my hands as much as I can which will be covered with rats to shake them off but I won't be able to they will be ingrained into my body they will be holding on to my flesh and as I move it will be even more painful as parts of it fall off and they will carry on gnawing into my body into my very soul, into my brain, into my heart, into my lungs, into all of my internal organs until I know more, until the last thing that I ever do the last thing that I ever do is scream scream my way into the dead world that my friend has plotted from the very beginning that I uttered words against him. And that, and that, and that shall be my fate on this Hallow's Eve. Seventeen minutes. That made two parts. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, I don't know how I was going to end that. I was going to end it on the dead world, dead world, but then I thought, Hallow's Eve. It's all actually all Hallow's Eve, isn't it? Halloween. Right, let's have the sun back, shall we? I better think I'm going mad down there. Oh, I felt all real, really red when I was in that end bit. Oh dear. There we go.